Hey everybody, this is Pastor Ben Lim with The Breaker, where God is breaking through all across the earth with the power of Jesus. The Bible says that he is Lord Parazam, Bal Parazam, the Lord of the breakthrough. So expect in the show for God to break you through to a new level. Today, we have a very good friend, woman of God, Dr. Candice Smitherman of the Glory Road TV. Of course, her shows are all around the world. Such an incredible woman of God. Today, we're going to talk about activating your angels. So we welcome you today, Dr. Candice. Welcome. Thank you, Pastor Ben. It's always a blessing, an honor, privilege to have the opportunity to do ministry with you. I'm excited about today's interview. God is going to activate angels today. That is so great. You know, uh, this is probably like our fourth, fifth show we did together. Uh, you know, we, we've been together doing ministry and just really been an acceleration. And I sense that even our angels are happy that we're coming together in synergy and unity to uh, do some ministry together. Isn't that true? No, I totally agree. You were with me just a few weeks ago in North Carolina at the ISN studios and you're a guest of mine, and there was so much synergy on the set when we were talking about angels. And so I know today that people that are watching are really going to begin to start to sense angels, learn about their heavenly habitations that they can create for angels to come and be with them and do the work of the Lord. It's an exciting time. It's the end times here, right? And so we're stepping into new beginnings, and we're stepping into great things that God has for us. And, and with that, the angels are very much a part of what God is doing in the universe today and he wants us to learn how to participate with them to see signs miracles and wonders wonders for the great awakening wow that is incredible i i love what you said earlier dr candace you said creating a habitation for your angels to be present now talk to us what does that exactly mean and what does that look like well you know people often think then that you know th that when we talk about encountering angels or activating angels that they're expecting to see some like huge angel in the natural like walk into their room okay and so they'll say oh well i i don't see angels because they're expecting that that's the kind of angel they're going to see in order to prove that their sight was was uh was true and that that what they actually saw was an angel but that's not what this whole thing is all about see we see angels by faith what that means is that we know and understand what the word of god says about the angelic and we begin to put that into play by creating habitations where our faith is increased so we know angels are joining us. In other words, we need to look at our body as a temple of the Holy Spirit. We need to look at what we're seeing, what we're listening to. Are we feeding ourselves the Word of God? Are we being pure in our environments? Are we confessing sin when it needs to be confessed? Are we creating a habitation in our own soul and our own body that causes us to know and understand that angels are really with us? Ben, I think people actually push aside the fact that angels are with them because they're doing some things that they don't think is necessarily holy and righteous and so they think well why would God give me an angel or why would an angel be with me because if you saw what I did last night and that's not anything about this it's about the fact that when we know what God says about us and we walk in that identity and we keep ourselves clean holy and pure before the Lord simply in a relationship where we're talking to God and we're confessing and we're opening ourselves up and we're speaking we're declaring and decreeing the word of God the angel are present with us already and then they begin to work with us and so God will begin to remove the veils from your eyes your spiritual eyes so you can begin to step into that place of saying I know I encountered an angel I I know that things change because I'm creating heavenly habitations for angels to be with me so I'm gonna walk in faith and I know the angels are joining me in this place that's incredible dr. Kans, because angels are always present and whether we are aware of them or not God still wants us to know how to activate them because they're always present, available to serve us and to help us to administrate the grace of God. But the devil wants you to be focused on your own sin, on yourself, rather than what God has actually made available. In fact, how can you be like Jesus if you don't know how to operate with the hosts of heaven? Now we're going to talk about that today with Dr. Candace on activating your angels. Now, let me ask you, Dr. Candace, how do you activate your angels? And how do you know what type of angels are with you, are assigned with you? Do angels come and go? What does that look like? This is such a vast topic, but how do you activate your angels? 
you know, then I know the angels are with me because the word says, I have been assigned a guardian angel. You have been assigned a guardian angel. That assignment came at conception. We know that from the word of God. We know that when the angel Gabriel went to speak to Mary and went to speak to um, uh, Zechariah about John the Baptist, it was during this the time that the baby was being formed in the womb. So assignments come during that time. So God will assign a guardian angel during the time of conception to carry the child all the way through and be with them. So I know I have a guardian angel and my guardian angel is there assigned by God to protect me, to watch over me and has been since conception. You have one also. So does everyone on the planet. There's there's additional scriptures that prove this also that I have in my new book, Angels of Fire, the Ministry of Angels in the End Time Revival, which is going to be out here uh, in July. 2021 and you can go online and get a copy early um get yourself ready to receive that but it's it's understanding that the word said it so therefore it shall be now here's the thing angels have not only been assigned as a guardian angel but we have angels assigned to us for specific assignments that god has on our life and so as you begin to grow with the lord he will give you an understanding of your mantle the mantle that god has given you which is part of your personality as well as the spiritual giftings that he's given you and for the work that he has in the kingdom that he's calling you to bring about he will send an angel to help you bring that about but what we have to know is how to activate those angels that are with us. First, we have to believe that we have a guardian angel. Then we have to believe that angels are given to us for specific kingdom assignment. So see, Ben, what I'm talking about is there's a lot of knowing who you are in Christ in the statements that I'm making. In other words, you can't be like, oh, maybe I'm saved. Maybe I'm not saved. Maybe this is true. Maybe that's true. No, you have to stand on what God says is the word is truth. And so I adhere to the truth of the word that I have an angel, guardian angel, and then I have angels that have been assigned to me for different kingdom tasks because of the mantle that I carry as a prophet and, and uh, the different things that God is asking me to step out in. And so God has sent me all kinds of angels depending upon my mantle and the places he's taking me, the territories that he's sending me. And so I've seen and experienced quite a few. And he will make me aware of them through dreams, uh, through visions, where I know that they're with me. And with that comes another level of confidence so I can step out out and perform the work that God has asked me to do as one of his kingdom citizens, as one of the workers in the kingdom. And so I do this by faith, but see, this isn't just about me or you, Pastor Ben. It's about people understanding that everything in the word of God is by faith. I know we want to get away from faith, but you cannot escape faith. The word was written and it's activated by faith. And so I activate my angels because I know they're there. And I begin to declare and decree and speak with the word of God. And I know they're coming to the aid of the word. And that includes me because I've been sent on assignment by the Lord. And so I walk in this level of confidence and I've seen amazing signs, miracles and wonders happen. I've seen great things with the assignments that God has given me. And I take no credit at all. It's simply because of the God kind of faith that the Lord has given me. And for me to know that my angels are with me. That is incredible, Dr. Ken, because too many people have more faith in CNN than the word of God. We have more faith in demons rather than in angels. And, uh, you know, I, I love what the angel said. Don't worship me. I'm just a fellow messenger. I'm just a fellow servant of the Lord. We see that in the book of Revelation. Uh, but we also see in the Gospels that Jesus says, do not cause any one of these children to stumble because their angels have seen the face of God. Their angel, every child, every person, has an angel, just like you said. But we need to believe in the word of God and what is available to us right now. Dr. Candace, I'm sure many people watch right now, they're saying, this is the first time I'm ever hearing about this. And just in the words of the disciples, help our unbelief. I feel like there's an activation of faith right now. So can you say a prayer right now to release and impart a realm of faith that you have and carry to walk with the angels and to release the angels on assignment. Can you pray for our friends right now that are watching? 
You bet. Father, I just thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the word. The word became flesh and walked the earth. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise through your death, burial, and resurrection and ascension. You made a way for us to be in the earth, activated as kingdom citizens with angels by our side to do the work of the kingdom. I thank you for those that are listening right now, Lord, and I thank you that they're kingdom citizens. They know you as their Lord and Savior. They're positioned, Father, to be able to step out out in faith and do the work that you called them. I thank you right now for a faith activation that each person, the sound of my voice, that their spirit would begin to leap and they would know that they are called, anointed, appointed, set apart, and that they have been assigned not only a garden angel, but an angel for on for assignment that you've given them. And so, Father, I ask you right now to remove the veil from their eyes, their spiritual eyes, Lord, that in faith they would be able to see, hear, smell, taste, and touch their angel, that you would bring dreams from heaven, Lord. I pray an activation of dreams where you would see your angel in a dream, where you would come in close connection with that angel, and you would know that God, that what God has been speaking to you about your new assignment, he's given you an angel now, that that assignment will come to pass, it will take place, and that you are a vital part of the kingdom work in the earth. Father, I thank you right now. I see hearts leaping, Pastor Ben. I see people getting excited that they've been called, anointed, appointed, set apart, and assigned an angel, that they're they're grabbing a hold of confidence in the spirit realms. I speak to you right now that you would have the God kind of faith. See, we got to grab a hold of God's very own faith for what he wants to do in the earth. Then we know it's done. It's finished. The work is complete. And the angels have come to see that through. So, Father, I thank you right now. An activation of faith that you would rise up and begin to step into the role, plan, and purpose that God has for you. And you begin to carry forth the anointing that is going to just smell like a fragrance, a sweet aroma. And the angels are going to gather around you. Every word you speak, they will come to your aid because it's for kingdom. It's for kingdom purpose. You are so very important to God's plan, but it's so very important for you to now speak, open your mouth, and give a directive. And the angels will come and they will be a support to you. Father, I thank you right now that people's faith is increasing and they're and after after this broadcast is over, they're going to have dreams and visions and step into that place of knowing a word of knowledge, complete understanding that they have heard the word, that they are standing on it, that they are creating an environment by their faith that's going to attract angels. I thank you, Father, for the kingdom work you're going to do in and through each and every person that is watching right now. And I thank you, Father, for the activation of faith for the angelic. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. Amen. What a power packed prayer and impartation right now. I guarantee you folks that not only is your faith level increased, but your ability to discern and walk with the angels have increased. And that's what today's show is on the breaker. We're talking about activating your angels. Dr. Candace, it was so interesting because earlier you said that angels have assignments that are attached to them. They're not just fat little Cupid angels that show up on Valentine's Day eating chocolates. No, but there's angels that are on assignment, which means that there's an assignment. There's a manifestation that's attached to them. I remember one time uh, we had a 21-day revival at my church and gemstones, gold dust, supernatural fragrance, the glory realm, the portals of God's glory opened up for 21 straight days. But I remember I discerned this in the spirit, Dr. Candace. I spoke out loud as I was ministering. I said, I see the angel of Catherine Coleman. I feel the Holy Ghost. I see the angel of Catherine Coleman. Remember, Miss Coleman may have passed onto glory, but her angels are still roaming around the earth right now. And I said, I see in the spirit the angel of Catherine Coleman. Right as I said that, gold dust just showed up all across the chairs. I mean, it was flood. It was it wasn't some little you know sparkles. No, there was. There was literally flakes of gold dust all across three rows and the carpet all around. It just showed up right there and it just continued to increase. So whenever angels are present, there will be a confirmation of a sign, a wonder or a miracle on the earth to confirm the, the presence of angels. So I want to ask you, Dr. Candace, uh, you know, do we need to know our assignments? to understand the angel at work or or do we need to understand the angel to understand the assignment how does that work how, talk to us that's a really good question the question you know it's kind of like does the chicken come before the egg or the egg before the chicken uh -huh. you know and really i think they're simultaneous pastor ben such a good question but listen listen i would say generally we must know our assignment 
first and then God will, will bring forth angels as a confirmation of that assignment because the angels are a, a steadfast heavenly um, authority that walks with us in that mantle that God has given us, okay? And so, so for me, my angels help increase my own faith because I know they're there because of the word of God and because different dreams and visions and things like that that I've had. When I go into an environment and the Lord says, okay, we're going to do healings in this environment and I see certain angels in operation, uh, my confidence level in the word that I heard from God about the specific healings raises up because I know that he sent and dispatched angels at that time to assist in the work that he wants to produce simply by my declaring and decreeing. Now, if we don't know our assignment, but God gives you a vision of an angel, he gives you a dream, he's telling you, I've anointed you and appointed you for this assignment because now I'm revealing the heavenly host that I've sent to be with you. Now, child, raise up Put on your mantle and step into the position that I'm calling you. Do not be fearful. Do not be afraid for I, God, am with you because my angels see my face. Your angel that I gave you on assignment has seen my face, has been into the with the throne room with me, and they carry the glory. And so I need you now to step into that. And I think, Pastor Ben, that we should be praying right now. I'm going to say a quick prayer right now for people. Those of you who don't know your assignment, I pray that you encounter an angel that will help confirm the assignment that God has given you right now in the mighty name of Jesus that confirmation would come through in these dreams and visions so you would be able to put on this mantle with confidence listen pastor Ben God wants his kids all of us to walk in the confidence of the inheritance that we are sons and daughters of the king each one of us are very special to God and have been given an assignment that's why we have an assigned angel not only guardian but for whatever kingdom purpose because see when Jesus died buried resurrected and ascended and we the church did with him we are in that place of being kingdom citizens to bring about kingdom of heaven change in the earth that means we all have a purpose we are all important and we all need an angel to accomplish that task hallelujah Oof. my gosh yes you know dr candace I, I i'm reminded of this you know because all of us have angels but not many of us are activating them not many of us are causing our angels to be busy so i believe that in the region and regional angels, if you're not moving in your authority, then those angels are just hanging out in their angelic lobby, you know? And so what we can do is we can actually gather those angels for our assignment and the Lord will begin to entrust you to be a greater carrier of the host of the angelic. So I believe God is about to bring you angels. God's about to bring everybody watching right now. God's about to uh, cause more angels to be partnered with you to fulfill the work of your harvest. But activating your angels. Earlier you said we need an increase of faith. So how do we activate our angels? Talk to us, Dr. Candace. People watching right now, they're saying, okay, my faith levels increase. I believe in the word of God. There are angels around me today. There are angels assigned to me. But how do I activate my angel? Okay. So what needs to happen is, what do you need your angel for? That's a question you need to ask. See, when I enter a situation and I know God wants to produce a specific result, then I know that the angel is there to help bring about the result of God. So we have to start saying, okay, if you want to activate angels, then what is it that you want to activate them in? What do you want to see them do? Do you want to see them bring from the vats of heaven oil, grain, and wine? Do you want to see healings take place? Do you want to see a husband and wife come together and stop? fighting? Do you want to see kids get saved? What is the purpose that you need some angelic activity? Then you begin to go into prayer about that. Get a word from God, okay? A word from God and speak that word in faith and say, God, I thank you right now that you are dispatching angels to take care of this word that you have put out, that you've laid on my heart, Father. This has become a part of who I am. I'm going to speak this word right now. And I know because of your word that you've assigned an angel, that angel's going to come and they're going to take care of this situation because it's important to you God that they do because in your word you say how important it is for this specific thing to happen or or I see that you want to change relationships or you want to do this or that I see that in the earth and so therefore I'm going to speak it and I know these angels are going to be activated so I thank you father that they're there they will begin to start working activation of angels happens because of our faith and because of the word but see pastor Ben this is very much like when we say 
we're going to declare and decree, we're going to intercede for something. It's as though it's one extra step. Okay, it's one extra step of saying, I know heaven is going to join me in impacting the environments that God wants impact. So I'm going to say, thank you, angels. We're activating you right now to go and to do this very thing, because this is the will of God. See, we have to learn to talk positively and confidently about the word. The word doesn't lie. The word is truth. The word comes forth to make change in the earth. See, the soulless realms have to be affected by the heavenly realm. And so when we know and understand these things and these truths, they become a part of who we are when we begin to speak them. Angels come and are activated at the sound of our voice. The other thing that I teach about in my book is that when the voice of the Lord goes out, Pastor Ben, it's a spark that creates a fire. Okay, and so when the word goes out, it's a spark and angels of fire and all angels are angels of fire. And I show that in my book. Okay, because they've been around the throne of God. All right. And so as they come forth, they carry a fire essence with them that comes from the throne of God. These different flames burn different colors for different things that these angels do. It's very, very deep. You ought to get the book to understand what each one of these colors do and why it's so very important. And the colors are around the throne of God. But when you know and understand this, you walk confidently in knowing that when you're speaking it, you're actually bringing about what God wants to see happen in the earth today. And you're just the agent of the voice, the spark voice of God that causes them to get electrified and join you in the work that God is calling you. So we activate angels by faith, by the word, by knowing who we are in Christ and believing what God says, and he will send them. They're here. You know, ben, Pastor Ben, you have an angel right with you, right there in your in your TV studio. You actually have multiple angels in your TV studio right now, not just one. You have multiple ones that are around. They are there because you're speaking the word of God. You've activated them simply by the, the mission and the duty that God has given you, and you're activating that by faith. They're joining you. They're hovering around us right now. They're listening to what we're saying. I want you to know they're sparking because they're excited about the fact that we are speaking the word of God and they know it's about them. Do you know angels want us to participate more with them? They're just a different species, Pastor Ben. We are created human. They are created angelic, different species created by the same father to work together to bring about what? in time revival. And it's important that people see this. We're only one species. They're another. They don't need salvation. We do. They didn't fall like we did. Of course, the fallen angels did. That's a different, that's a whole different thing. We're not talking about the demonic forces now. We're talking about angelic hosts. Angelic hosts are assigned. There's legions of them. There's different spheres, the archangels, the seraphim, the cherubim, the guardian. There's all different kinds of angels and they perform different duties, but they are just a different species. So it's like we're just learning to work with our another species, which is friends of ours created for kingdom work. That is incredible. And, you know, the Bible says that one third of the angels, uh, you know, at that time they fell with Lucifer. Of course, you're talking about the fallen angels, one third. And now I believe that one third of the angels at that time fell, which which means that Jesus has still been creating angels ever since then. The Bible never says that he stopped creating angels. The Bible never says that. Now I want you to stop growing. Now, now, uh, you know, he said he never. No, there's still animals being created, still stars being created. Yeah, the angels, the an angelic realm, they're part of God's creation, as so are we. But God has entrusted us to be rulers over the angels, so that the angels will serve us. Here it says uh, in, in the Word of God here in Hebrews one fourteen, uh, are not all ministering spirits sent to serve those who inherit salvation. Just like Dr. Kendra said, we need salvation, but the angels don't. And the fallen angels will never receive salvation. Uh, but are not all ministering spirits, angels sent to serve those who will inherit salvation, which is you and I. So they serve us for God's kingdom purposes, not just not to make us look good, not for our own soulish carnal purposes, but for the kingdom purposes of God. But just like I said earlier, one third of the angels fell with Lucifer. But there's so many angels. There's more angels than demons. And if you believe it, there's actually more angels than God's children, than the sons and daughters of God. There's a plethora, a host of it. And I love what you said, that there's 
many different types of angels. We got the cherubs, the seraphims. We got uh, many different types of uh, uh, ranking angels, such as the archangels. But God wants you to understand that they are on our side. We all worship the same Jesus. We are, we are all part of creation, and they are on our side, and they're here to help us. Dr. Candace. This word here, uh, serve, in the Greek is diakonos, which means to be like a server, a servant, or a waiter. So imagine a waiter is waiting at the table to serve us. That's what these angels, I feel the Holy Ghost, these angels are waiting at our table to serve us for the kingdom purpose. But so many of us are ignorant, we're oblivious, but I believe God wants to activate your senses, even as the prophet. Open up the eyes of the servant and said, there are many more that are with us than against us. Now, Dr. Candace, I love the word, the, the fire, the faith, the teaching that you're bringing about activating your angels. Because as I've said, we need to talk about angelology more than demonology. Too many people talk about demons and sin rather than angels and the glory of God. So in your book, Talk to us about your book. Obviously, people are so interested and hungry in activating their angels. You know, Pastor Ben, I'm so excited about this book. This book came as a result of my doing my teaching on releasing heaven when I was a guest on Sid Roth's show. They had me do a CD set called Angels on Assignment. And then I was asked by Destiny Image, my publisher, to actually write a book on it because it was such a popular CD set that it caused people to really understand the depths of angels that, that God has assigned to us. And so I was so excited when they invited me to do this book. And it has been really just a total outpouring of the knowledge and understanding that I've had about angels. It is not a theological book. Though it is the theologically right, it is very experiential and it is very supernatural. It's not a medical book, but I do list in it a lot of different disorders and how different angels bring healing from the throne of God to us based on our disorder and what is lacking in us and what they can fill the need for when God dispatches them. I talk about the throne of God, the different colors of the different angels and what they represent. It's very, very powerful. I teach you how to have heavenly habitations, how guardian angels are assigned at conception, all the different levels of, of angels, the chariots of, of fire and what they represent today, how to activate angels for end time revival. How do we participate with them? I talk about ascension angels, um, angels of provision, all different types of angels, but more the supernatural side of things, Pastor Ben. This is a supernatural manual on how to access and understand fire angels and bring them into meetings for signs, miracles, and wonders. My gosh, that book sounds incredible. I can't wait to get my hands uh, on a copy of the book. I know that so many people watching and listening right now, they're saying, I want to activate my angels. Not only is there a greater awareness and a greater hunger and solid biblical foundational teaching that's accompanying it, but now people are going to be more effective in your calling because of the ability to activate angels. Dr. Candice, I want you to say a prayer uh, as we're about to close right now. I want you to say a prayer that people's eyes will be open, that people would encounter and activate their angels for the kingdom purpose and calling. Because in these end times, we're going to see more angelic activity more than ever before. So please go ahead and pray for us. I want to activate right now that your eyes be open in the spirit realms, dreams, visions, senses, your, your spiritual hearing, smell, taste, and touch are activated right now and opened. Anything that's clouding or hindering those senses right now will be broken in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for fire coming into my friend right now to their spirit to cause them to have excitement like a spark from the Lord that says, wake up and see the angels that are surrounding you now that I have assigned to you to put you into the place and position that I've called you. I, God is asking you right now to be the kingdom citizen that he's called you to be and step out of your comfort zone. The angels are with you and they're gonna do the work of the Lord right alongside you just as the servants do. Father, I praise you and I thank you for this activation to my friend right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Wow, praise the Lord. Dr. Candice, we can't wait for the release and to have your new book, Encountering Your Angels, which is coming out in July. Now, how can people follow you and support you in your ministry? 
Yes, please go to CandaceSmithamon.com. You can go there and find out all about me. Like my Facebook page. That would be such a huge blessing. And my YouTube. Because if you like those and subscribe, then you're going to have the opportunity to see my Glory Road show. I also have a Glory Road Live I do on Wednesdays where I actually pray and prophesy for you right there when you come and join me. I also have my show on ISN that's on Tuesdays, Tuesday morning at 8.30, Tuesday night at 8.30. But you can watch it for a full 24 hours. Uh, Tuesday to Wednesday when you go to ISN Live on YouTube or download the ISN app. So there's lots of ways to reach out to me. Charisma Podcast. I'm on the Charisma Podcast Network. Um, just uh, log in there or go to Destiny Image Podcast Network also. And I have a podcast there called On the Glory Road. Lots of different ways. My gosh, Dr. Candice, we love you. We appreciate you and your ministry. Thank you for being on The Breaker today so that we can have an understanding of the angelic, so that people can break through with activating their angels. Thank you so much, Dr. Candice. We appreciate you. Thank you, Pastor Ben. It was an honor. Well, people of God, Dr. Candice Smitherman, isn't she uh, walking in fire? She's just incredible. Make sure you get her new book, uh, Encounter Your Angels. Go follow her, subscribe. Listen, there are angels at work, and God wants to anoint you and activate you to be effective in walking with your angels, not just in heaven, but here on earth today. This is Pastor Ben Lim with The Breaker, and thank you so much for watching, because we're believing that God's going to release great breakthrough in your life like never before. Until next time, see you very soon.